How do you make your laser engraved products sell better at craft shows? What is up? A welcome back. Do it to do it, build it to make it and sell it. So do we. And we have new videos each week, every Tuesday and Friday. We've noticed that craft shows, products that evoke emotional response, sell the best. Yes, things like things with your sports team's logos on them, hobbies, family, um, your local town, and number one, personalization. Do you do personalization? What kind of personalization do you do? How do you do it? Leave me a comment down below. Personalization is pretty hard at craft shows unless you're really good at that hand lettering. But we're laser crafts and so hand lettering really doesn't go with our theme. But we think we found the perfect solution to laser engrave your products right on site at the craft show. And we're going to do a giveaway. We have a premium pack here of 54 laser engravable items to get you started. Step one, a design time. Christmas ornaments are hot because it's getting cold outside. It is that holiday craft show season time and I know I wanted to bring the F1 to the craft shows with us to do some on-site personalization. So we're gonna make, because Garrett wouldn't let me buy, a design that we could do some personalization on these ornaments so that every kid gets their name on the ornament. Grandma can have an ornament for their grandkids. Mom and dad can have an ornament with the new baby. <laughs> so Kim wanted something very specific so we would need to be able to have multiple stockings anywhere from one or two stockings all the way up to eight stockings. You might have a, a lot of kids or a lot of grandkids. Step two, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We're going to use some five millimeter Baltic birch with an MDF core for the backer and a little top banner. Then we're going to use some eighth inch MDF for the stockings, the little, I don't know, stocking puffs. What are those things called? I don't know. And the Christmas <laughs> lights. Step three, time for some prep. We're going to pre-paint a couple of our boards. Right, we have all of these tiny little stocking pieces that are going to come out of one board. Uh, these are going to be small little pieces that we do not want to have to paint individually after the fact. So we're going to go ahead and spray paint this board white and spray paint another one red so that we can cut the stockings out of that board. Step four, we're going to make all of our cuts. I'm going to use the X-Tool P2 to do all the heavy lifting, get all of my cuts out of the all way. That Pre prep work. All that pre prep work. That's why they're a great duo. We're going to use the big guy to cut all the stuff and do all the, the powerhouse type of things. And she's going to come in with all the little delicate details. So I'm also using the P2 because it's going to automatically focus on each of the size boards. And then I don't have to guess about the settings either. I'm just going to pick Baltic Birch 5mm and I'm going to pick a 3mm MDF. Step five, paint and or stain. We're gonna stain these little five millimeter Baltic birch pieces. Yes, by using Baltic birch, these are the perfect, that's the perfect medium to stain on because it has that nice wood grain. Or you can paint these as well. Uh, we definitely are gonna paint our little light strands. There they are. These little tiny guys. Tiny, tiny little light strands. These Posca markers are perfect for that job. Uh, you could do this right on site at the craft show if you have to, or you can do all this pre-prep ahead of time. Either way, Posca markers will save the day. And we don't have to paint our little stockings or the little puff pieces at the top because I already painted those. We just yeah. have to wipe them off. <laughs> yes, maybe we should have used a little masking here. Um, Garrett was Garrett's idea was by using the high gloss spray paint, they were easily wipeable, and they are. You can wipe off most of it, but not all of the charring on the edges came off without on site at the craft show without our little. Uh, chemicals. I don't, know. Chemical. I don't know. It gives a little patina. Makes it look aged. Yeah, it does give it a little antique look. Makes makes the stockings look a little round. It makes it, I think it just gives it a little more life. A little dimension. Yeah, a little dimension. Step six, pre-assemble. We're going to put some of the pieces together that don't need personalization now before we go to the show. 
or here you can see we did this right at the craft show it was just as easy to just glue these and stack them together right there on site I mean, it's it pretty took simple minutes i mean seconds if that yeah seconds step seven on-site laser engraved personalization we're gonna pack it up and hit the road x tool partnered with jackery to provide an on-the-go power pack laser engraved solution our x tool f1 is the fastest infrared and diode portable laser engraver on the market we shared this with you in a previous video this is the world's first portable 10 watt blue laser and 2 watt infrared laser this can cut up to 8 millimeters of wood and 5 millimeters of acrylic and the detail in this engraving is minute this is crisp clear patterns in every engrave we use this with our Xtool Creative Space and you can use that on your desktop. We brought our laptop with us, your iPad, you can use it on your phone. And there are so many different accessories that come with this. You can use the slide extension, we've done that in a previous video, the rotary attachment, and it also comes with this air purifier so that you can use it indoors at your craft shows. The Jackery Explorer 500 is a portable power station coming in at just 13.32 pounds. It's long lasting, it'll provide several years of your craft shows, even if you do hundreds of shows a year. With a 518 watt capacity, it'll easily power your F1 laptop and your air purifier. You can also use this thing while it's charging, so if you have your solar panels hooked up, you can continue to use this thing while it's charging itself. You have up to five hours of continuous use using the F1 and the air purifier, so you should have plenty of time to get a lot of foot traffic coming in to see what's going on at your booth. We opened Creative Space on our laptop, connected to the F1 right here at the craft show, right at our picnic table. All we had to do for these ornaments was type out a name, use the default engraved settings. We framed it for each stocking. We framed the name first, then we just clicked process, start, press the button and this is the fastest engrave it took seconds seconds at craft shows we've noticed the booths that have the most traffic are somebody that's doing a craft on the spot or doing some sort of presentation about their product anytime Garrett is sitting there painting a sign or touching up a sign it brings people over they want to see what he's doing the thing about the F1 and having it and personalized engraving right at your craft booth, it really brings folks over to see what you're doing and really gets them engaged. And if one person is standing there, if you've been there at a craft show, you know that 10 people are standing there. And the more foot traffic you have, the higher your sales. And who doesn't love a laser light show? So you can actually see the laser and everybody's eyes are protected. They don't have to wear the goggles. This is another great thing about the F1. It's portable, safe laser light show. You know it'll attract the kids over. <laughs> Step eight, profit. We're all in on materials about 50 to 75 cents, depending on how detailed we painted it and if we actually stained the backer. And if you add in that laser time and your paint time, you're still under three to five dollars per yeah. ornament. Easy. Easy. And you can probably sell these for $15 to $20. Right. We were thinking of marketing these at $15 as is, and then maybe adding a dollar per name. dollar per name, yeah. So that way if you have a big family, it's going to cost it's a you. a good chunk of change. <laughs> and a big thanks to all of our hangers. That's our Patreon family over there. If you have a laser craft side hustle and you make laser crafts, this is a great community of folks that do the same thing. We're always offering up tips, tricks, advice, new project ideas. Come and join us over at patreon.com. Kim and Garrett make it. And we're having our giveaway. Thought you forgot about the giveaway, right? Just leave us a comment down below, leave me a like, and be sure to be a subscriber. Don't forget to tick that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. And good luck.